Welcome to my little country kitchen. This is Marianne. Okay, I'm going to talk loud because it's the it's on the final dry for the mushrooms, but I want to show you what I'm doing next. I'm so glad that this came with extra trays, so I have two and a half trays of already cooked potatoes, and I did test them out. They're yummy, nice and done, so I can either just keep them like these or powder them, and uh, I'll probably keep them like this because I want to do hash browns, so that's the idea. This is cilantro that I just cut up rough chopped. These were two already diced things up of green onions that my mom gave me. This was free, this was free. The tomato she gave me too. I had some leftover pineapple in the fridge that we weren't going to use. This is some homemade ketchup. And then I just opened two cans of sweet peas because I wanted to fill these trays. This is actually the lid that you can use. They say you can use that too. So I wanted to show you before I cover them all up. Now I'm gonna go stick these in my freezer outside to freeze, because that'll save some dry time when you pre-freeze stuff. So getting these lids is definitely worth it. And, and I love having an extra set of trays. Or just like you saw, you can use the lids as trays, especially when you, when you wanna do liquid stuff and separate stuff, so like that. So it doesn't all have to be the same. Okay, and then with this one, I'm actually gonna get the base tray and stick that over the top. Okay. Let's see if I can finagle this. Okay. And now we can stack these. So one person can take them out to the freezer in the garage. And they're actually quite heavy. Like this is probably a good three pounds all by itself. So I'm going to let my husband do the heavy lifting, take, let him take it out. And then that mushroom won't be done probably till tomorrow. We'll see if I'm still awake um, in order to switch these out. But if not, it's okay. I'll switch them in the morning when I wake up. Okay, we'll see what's next. Okay, so it's process complete, open drain valve to vent. Okay. Let's check, oh. Okay, this is my second batch of freeze dried onions. Remember how these were crooked? Yeah, they stayed that way in the freeze dryer. If you want to win the t-shirt and three freeze dried boots, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. what I was afraid of. Yep, because they didn't lay flat. As you can see, 
This still has a lot of liquid in that ketchup for moisture anyway. A nice treat. A little bit regretting the ketchup right next to it though. these parts and I will blend it up later and turn this into powder. And this is not done unfortunately it got mixed. And these are all sticking so it feels like yeah I can tell they still have some moisture in them so I'm just gonna leave them. Okay. Cilantro. So pretty. Looks great.
the ketchup. as light as a feather. Mm. Mm. That's the punch. favorite idea in it because every time I buy a bunch of green onions I end up just throwing half of them away because I don't use them all before they go bad. So this is a great idea. Lessons of potatoes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably still thinking. We've got already cooked diced potatoes for hash browns or soups or even what's that um egg dish that you i forgot what it's called and cilantro peas pineapple next time i'm going to do a whole tray of pineapple um some tomato product and some green onions okay successful day i'm gonna stick this in a bag or use them up um, oh i have some Mylar bags I can stick it in. Maybe I'll make like some kind of camping mill on the go with this next one. Okay. See you next time. Please join me for the next one on February freeze. <laughs>